Hello and happy weekend, everyone. You had did you did you guys enjoy your weekend? Did you miss me? But anyway, here we are again. We are now back, back <laughs> with Tita reacts, and now we are back on Reddit, and we are gonna read some questions from foreigners about their Filipinas. Let's go. Who let the dogs out? <laughs> So this is from another confused foreigner. Hmm. Foreigner tried breaking up with Filipina girlfriend. She refuses to let me go. Hmm. Clingy much? Hi Filipinos of Reddit. Long story yeah. Long story short. Long story short, I met this girl online through a dating site and started a relationship with her. I met her in Manila, but afterwards, I started to notice red flags and decided to break it off. It just felt a bit off, and my gut feeling had me thinking there might be a more devious motivation for her seeking out a foreigner. I told her I wanted to break up, but she just won't let me go. If I block her on Instagram, she messages me on WhatsApp begging me to take her back. If I block her on everything, she starts emailing me. Hmm, girls got ways. When that doesn't work, she starts reaching out to my friends to try and relay messages to me through them. Bruh. This is giving some creepy vibes. Look, I made a mistake getting involved with a really poor Filipina that I met online. In hindsight, I should have never even ventured onto those dating sites. That's my foolishness. But now, when I've realized that this is not the way to go, I'm unable to break it off with her. She just refuses to let me. Please, can someone give me advice? Edit. I already deactivated Insta. I'm back here in Australia, but she knows my friends from Insta and messages them. I also used her phone to call my family after mine got stolen by pickpockets in Pasay. I'm worried she's gonna hassle my family. Bruh. What type of women are you attracting anyway? This is toxic. This is very stressful, okay? Uh, the block button is a very magical button. And... If you can block her on Instagram and maybe on some other social media sites, I'm sure that your family and friends can also do the same. You don't need to worry about them, okay? I mean, for sure, they're all grown-ups. They know how to use the block button, okay? As for the girl, I think you've been kind of showing off with her, okay? That's why she don't want to let you go. Because the mere fact that you're a foreigner and she's from a poor family for us here regardless of your financial status in life the moment that we know we see we found out that you are a foreigner and if you have the kaching kachings to be here and have a vacation that's already a sign like a dollar sign or maybe australian dollar sign i guess or peso sign that's already a sign that Maybe for her, you are her cash cow that she got a milk for the rest of her life. Her knight in shining armor who's gonna take her out of her dire situation. So, that's the only thing that I can think of. The reason why she doesn't want to let you go. Aside from maybe you have good genes that could give her future children maybe blonde hair, blue eyes. Hmm. But aside from those, I don't think being a Filipina has something to do with her behaving like that. Because there might be some who are just like her. But there's not a lot of Filipinas who are just like her. Maybe it's not about the race. Maybe she's going through something else. Maybe, maybe, maybe she got other problems it's kind of obvious that she has this obsession towards you i mean if i may say that if that's the right term to use she's obsessed with you maybe she really does have 
mental issues i guess she can't let go but anyway let's see what the other people has to say about this this is from muffin soul this is independent of her being filipina it is a problem of mental health attachment maturity and lack of tools to process her feelings in a mature way right you can find the examples of rich poor male female and every people in between from all over the world doing the same yeah so you need to address it as such as a maturity issue regardless of her background it's an obsession she has with the idea of relationship with you not even yourself and she will need a lot of time and effort to grow out of it or to move on. Yes, Muffin Soul, I agree. This is a whole judger 954. He said, Oh, really? As opposed to your motivations going to a dating site specifically targeted for women in the third world? You want to use your financial privilege to get yourself a woman easily? Please feel free, but don't act like you're innocent and shocked when what you get isn't true love you should know what the game is before you start playing mm -hmm. if you had no intentions of marriage and bringing her over to australia the next time just skip the pretense and go to angeles or pataya or any of the red light districts much cheaper and less wasted time mm -hmm. well you know what you're an a-hole judger but but you're kind of making some points here okay i mean i agree agree to some point about him going to dating sites targeting women from a third world country and and i'm not kind of sure that he's using his financial privilege to get a woman because that may be the case but that doesn't mean that is the case okay i mean maybe he's just being a gentleman maybe he bought her lunch or something and it was really nice that it gave the girl the idea that this guy might be financially able that this guy might be the answer to her lifelong problems all along and he's right as well about getting true love on dating sites because these days i don't really think that you can find true love that easily on dating sites because there are a lot of scams on dating websites so before you commit to someone make sure you get to meet them face to face that you get to meet them personally so that you can find out if she really is what her profile picture and her bio is saying and i agree too if opie doesn't have an intention to get married or get into a serious relationship then maybe he should have went to red light districts and not just you know shoot his shot on dating websites comfortable exam said yeah this whole post is gross as hell and the I'm done meeting Filipinas online thing? Laughing my butt off. I wonder what the other group of vulnerable and desperate girls he's going to vulture on next. Just block her on WhatsApp. You don't! You said about a dozen times you're in Australia and she's in the Philippines. Is she going to swim to you? Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. <gasps> what were any of us going to do to help you? Hunt her down with a flip flop? The galit no kuwe. Mom, she said, he's looking for validation. He's like a mama's boy who needs to ask the opinion of the internet to break up with his exotic Joa. <laughs> Actually, just a gal with no plan, said. Uh, she'll probably try and try for a really long time because you're a cash cow to her. Mm -hmm. That's probably how it is. You can't do anything other than tell your friends to block her too. Check. Check. OP said I didn't send her any money and I flat out told her I could never afford to bring her here. Maybe she doesn't believe you. Maybe if you haven't sent her money but she can see your lifestyle, your gadgets or whatever. Maybe she doesn't believe that you can't afford anything. As long as you're a foreigner, they'll always think you have money no matter what you tell them. These girls are persistent and see you guys as a way out of poverty. I've personally seen young women date broke people who make them pay for both of their meals in the off chance that he's just withholding his money and will spoil her later. Make me your queen, Zadia. 
Linde. Si Lee Elder Belly. Tell her I am your new GM. <laughs> Hi. Chill. Chill out! Everyone chill! Thank you so much once again for watching and see you real soon. Subscribe, ah. Subscribe!